This is going to be three Five, hours four, of Blitz Chess three, against title players two, one, starting now. Zero. And playing a Grandmaster, first game. Um, I mean, gotta at least try a Stafford to start, right? Because why not? I've lost to this opponent. What, what is F3? My opponent trolling me, or was that a mouse slip? Feels like it could have been a mouse slip. Let's play bishop c5 first. I mean, f3 is just a really bad move usually in the king's pawn opening. Um, going for d5. I guess f3 does uh, discourage me from playing a Stafford, though. So maybe my opponent was slightly afraid. Not sure. But a5, gain space. Now queen b6, threatening the knight. Looks very pleasant, but it still requires, I think, some precision and focus. Knight h3 is not played. Now, pawn's a little bit tender. Bishop there takes. I could play this move too. I think I'll just play this, just complete development. I mean, if takes, takes, takes. I lose a pawn, but get initiative. Should be okay. I might be threatening d4. Takes, takes. All right, let's play this move. Idea knight b4. It's the benefit of the pawn not being able to move backwards. b4 is accessible. Uh, bishop e3 is an idea. So let's do this anyway. Bishop b1, man. I take. C3 is coming. Maybe I could play like d4. Don't want to close things down though. Let's start with this. In c3, I move back. Bishop e3, maybe d4 and then. Trying to keep the pace. Okay, d4 now takes, takes. Might as well. This bishop is kind of dead. Ideas of knight c5, knight b3. I mean, this pawn restricts a bishop, also restricts this pawn, which restricts the other bishop. Uh, let's attack the rook. Oh, this wins material. Rook a2, knight c1. The first rank fork. Or the back rank fork. In rook a3, I just take it. So the rook's essentially trapped. And this horse, he went on a journey. All right, bishop b4. Need this move first. Time for the other horsey to shine. g4, let's play this. b5 idea. Okay, gradually preparing b5. Oh, I could have played it right away, and then c-pawn's pinned. Thank you, cow's shield. Happy 10. Okay, but a little bit of time, up material. All right, let's take. So if bishop takes, I think I'm happy to trade and then, okay, depending what takes back, play this. Hitting the queen and pawn. And b3 is probably coming. Maybe I sack. Maybe this first. And f5, bishop f8. Sacking no longer really makes sense. I want to target b3. Always play f6. Slightly questionable move. 
I free the square, b3 is a target. And to defend. Hello, Eric. Loads of love from Germany. Oh, love thanks for all the love. Content. Keep it up less than three. Appreciate that. How do you say love in German? Amor is love in Spanish. And this is not so simple. Uh, King G7. Swing the rook over. I should win on time at the very least. Maybe checkmate at the very most. Okay, making progress. Uh, check. Okay, pretty clean game. I'm not sure if my opponent was playing a troll opening or just a mouse slip opening with F3. Like, has this ever been played in a in master level play? Once. But it's already, like, not good for white. Okay, I'll take it. Called the king's head opening. Opponent went, he went head first with the F pawn. Thank you, Cole. Appreciate the bits and the words. Thank you, Pasatello, Pasataleo, and Frick's DD. All right, um, play. I'll play my main opening. London opening time. Got a copycat. Play C4. Have a good score against his opponent. And this is like a London Queen's Gambit hybrid. Resembling some Queen's Gambit accepted. All right, Bishop B4 probably coming. Try and keep some tempo here. I'll take with knight. A lot of natural moves. D5, wait, D5, B5, Hello, bishop Eric. A2. I have recently discovered that there is nothing in the chess rule book that says you can't kidnap your opponent's family and threaten them unless he loses. Good luck. Um, that's an interesting realization. Uh, I think I just blundered a, a thing. Um, how what to do? B three. I'm just losing a pawn. Bishop D three or Bishop A two. All right, let's play this. Uh, difficult position. Oh yes, my sub. Good to see you, Eric. Good to see you too. Even though I'm not really looking at you right now, have a position to focus on. Play rook d1. Maybe go for e4. Okay, Let's rook d4. Go, Eric. You got this. I'm trying. Everyone I'm trying. Subscribe to the main channel and extra channel. Oh yes, please. X slam YouTube. X X slam extra. All right, so, I mean, e4 is an idea. The bishop d3, man. h4? e4, take, no. Let's start with h4. This is terrifying. Some knight, 97 to c6 idea. Already down over a minute. Uh, 
There's almost an idea where I take everything. Never mind. I have to take. Still not a pawn. I mean, e4 is still an idea. Never mind. But maybe still. Yeah, the b file is going to be an issue. Playing this. F3, restricting the knight. So c3, take, take, bishop c2. And try this. Uh oh. That's not good. Yeah, I'm going to need a miracle here. Not meant to be. Oops. Okay. Oh, uh, what's to do? Good game. Um, what did I miss that game? Like this knight b six move, losing a pawn early on. Okay, let me open up this request queue. So on yesterday's stream, I enabled opening requests through channel points. And I got some requests yesterday as well. So this is a request list. Um, I don't think there were any black openings against E4. Let's uh, Berserk and play. Let's go for a Stafford. Wait, it's cut off. Oh, sorry about that. Ratings are cut off. Thanks for letting me know. I don't know how that happened. Hopefully that's better. Okay. <laughs> I Berserked here. Uh... Wait, what's the line? 94? We're going into one of the sharper Stafford lines. F5, or no, bishop here first, and then F5 comes next. Objectively, this is a little bit better for white, but it does get a bit weird. I think I just still castle. Idea being after it takes, I take back and defend the bishop. And there's some counterplay. Actually, it looks like there's a lot of counterplay here. E3 is a big threat. If queen takes, I develop a tempo. I mean, there is this check king h8. But with the king on d1 and open position, I think it's, it, it's at the very least more enjoyable for black. But how to make progress. Queen g5. Preparing this, attacking this, maybe you're preparing this and this. Queen f4, I can play queen g6. Yeah, 
Yeah, and this is a big threat. I guess there's queen a4. After queen a4, maybe I just start pawn swarming. Hello, sir. You are looking very handsome today. Oh, thank you. Lord Borrow. Wow. Maiden 2? Check. And mate. Okay. That was uh that was actually a fun game. Stafford Gambit. Opponent went for uh slightly um lesser common line, D3, C3. And then we saw all the fun that the Stafford can can bring despite losing a piece. Okay, back to tournament. Got some berserking points. What's happening? Not sure if my internet's lagging or the site's lagging. The top 60. Move on. Hope you're having a good day, Rose and Ducky. Oh, thank you, Biblio Penguin. Yeah, thanks to everyone who maybe I didn't acknowledge as well. Samsonite earlier gifting a sub. Grandmistress Arun. Oh, who was trying to let me know. Yeah, hopefully the layout is better now. Um something got a little bit off ah oh, maybe this is what happened yeah. while my opponent takes her time there we go just trying to maximize the board size Okay. Sometimes I'm overly perfectionist when it comes to these layouts. Uh, E4 is a move. Yeah, Bishop D7 takes. Let's go. Welcome back to Oilers. Hi, Eric. Hello. If I remember correctly, there's 92. I don't think e5 is a move. Either 92 or takes. I think it's. I think it's takes first. Remember, I played a similar line against Hikaru. He crushed me. And I briefly checked the improvement. This is the only move I remember. And like queen d2. Maybe just casting kingside. Queen a4 is a move. Queen d3. Oh, let's play queen d3. Preventing bishop f5. Queen has some potential to swing over. If knight b4, I mean, the knight's pinned, so if castling, castling, knight b4, I move back. Bishop f5, knight d4, attacking and defending. Oh, Shadow's my opponent, who's also streaming. Yeah, I don't actually recognize his name. Maybe streaming in Spanish? From Mexico? Alright, so I could take... I think this is okay though. I put the bishop back on b3. Rook d1. Okay, so bishop f5 is now a realistic idea. I mean, there's knight d4, queen, queen f3, a d4 might be coming, take, a queen f3 should be fine, so d4 I take, 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 or d4 take, take, 
I think I'm winning a pawn. Bach has a bishop hair. Do I have this move? I may have missed knight takes e6. I still have it though. Because I'm threatening the bishop. If takes, I fork. This is also an idea. Yeah, I think this is completely winning for white. Um, yeah, let's win the queen. Hitting this and this. There's one check, king h2. Okay, pretty smooth game. Top 100, two in a row. Oh, top 60. Welcome back to Pam. Obese Reese. Magnus is playing. Wait, what? Wow, Magnus is playing. When was the last time Magnus played on Lee Chess? Not since like the the merger, right? So maybe he's not like completely exclusive to chess.com. That's cool. Long time no see, Dr. Nitrostein. Let's play this move. Um, I'll go for the line takes knight h5. Oh dear, I just lost a piece. I just lost a piece. All right, let's treat it as a, a gambit. I'm used to being down material. And take this. Problem is queen e3. Yeah, this move. Okay, have some work to do. I do have two pawns for the piece. Defend. A sad square for the bishop, but it's defending things. Take, take. I think this is playable. So takes, 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 takes here, here, and then takes. Yeah, f4 I take in the end. And I'm ready to play this move. And now the knight's attacked. Okay, so take. So f4 I take. I mean, there's rook here. And then this move? I have no time to contemplate. Yeah, we're simplifying. It's going to be equal equal pawns. I'll try and win one of these things. Draw? No. Draw? Draw. Okay. Can't complain. I mean, I was down a piece after like the first 10 moves. Okay, so now the goal is to get high enough so I can play Magnus. Uh, let's play this move. B4. I think this is playable. It's like a Polish kind of. Exotic position. This diagonal is a little bit weak. There should be seven. Okay. 
Uh, bishop's actually decently placed there. Okay, I probably have to take with knight. I could take with queen, though. Yeah, because takes, I win the e2 pawn. Queen a4. Hitting the bishop, threatening this. And the issue for white, the knight can't move to defend the queen. Knight's pinned to the queen. It's a weird, uh, weird tactic. Oh, but I'm losing a piece back. It's b4 comes, but I win e2. Bishop f1, the tactics just keep coming. I think it's okay. But what's happening? Take e4. Okay, this is where I slow down and calculate. Um, oh, queen c4 maybe is simple. Wait, queen c4 hangs a piece. Let me try this. It's going to be an exchange sack and then queen c4. So I'm calculating takes, 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 takes. Diagonal opens, the bishop's attacked. Um, bishop a3 in the end. And then this move. This was extent of my calculation. Do I have another move? Oh, there's rookie one. I don't think I can move the knight. Unless I play like this. That's not good. I think I'll play this first. And there's still compensation. Wait, why did I do that? I'm giving way too many tempi. Okay. Ah, I really mishandled this. Still maybe playable, maybe not though. I lost the thread. Uh, had a good position. What to do? Five seconds left. Okay. Uh, not my proudest game. Still top 100. Lost my streak. Lost my 2600 rating. I'm tied with Bordnik. Unexpectedly. Who seems to be berserking all his games. Magnus. Wow. Magnus Berserk winning. 29 tournament points. Hey, it's Anna Kramling. What's up, Anna Crowling? Shout out to Anna. Hope you had a good stream. If you're just joining, I started streaming about half hour ago. And I'll be streaming for the next at least two and a half hours. Playing some chess. It's um it's July 1st. It's a July title blitz arena. 
what I've played five games so far. Lost two, one, three, I think. Okay. Oh, Anna Kramling is actually um, makes a, a an appearance in my most recent YouTube video. Anna Kramling is a reason why my most recent YouTube video uh, exists, because she was the one who helped provide the camera. Also, did I just blunder? Oh dear. Okay, that's not so bad though. Bishop. There's also knight d5. Trade off the knights. This bishop is so strong. C3. Maybe he could have taken here. Okay, this bishop is strong. This bishop's a little bit sad. What to do? I think in knight f6, I just take it. Bishop f6 makes sense. So maybe this move. Undouble the pawns. Oh, that was a good move. Take, take. Let's try. I lose a pawn there. Let's try it, though. So there's takes, takes, rook f2, king g1, rook b2, bishop e6 in the end. d6 is attacked. Okay, here let's contest the file. So if takes, maybe? Okay, never mind. I really have to watch my time. Rook f4. I mean, we're both trying to attack on the king side. And these both minor pieces are actually quite strong. I was beginning to feel like white has a bit more coordination. I really don't care about the queen side, even though maybe I should. H5 idea. I'm not sure what that was. The B file is open now, though. We trade. Like G4 is a threat. Take, take. Start with this. Queen G4 also. Let's play this. So I'm threatening this. Wow. Go ahead, Eric. E4. Just blocking the attack. If Rook moves, I have check and queen f6. I think e4 is an important move. Limit all the counterplay. This is maiden 2. That's a funny maiden 2. Rook g8. So if queen takes, queen f6 mate. If king takes, queen f8 mate. That's pretty aesthetic. Okay, back over 2600. Not the easiest of games, but nice one to win. Trying to catch up to Magnus, who is in second place, has won all his games. Thank you, Raya Vincent. Happy one year.
Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm using the smart berserk extension. If it tells me to berserk, I berserk. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this is more of a bullet game. We're going to try and expand on the king side. Maybe maneuver the knight. Ooh. It's already like close to being tactical. Do I want to go for that? Maybe I do. Let's go, Eric. Let's go. Let's go. I'm doing something that maybe I shouldn't do. It looked too interesting, though. So I'm winning the pawn. Maybe I'm not winning the pawn. Bishop e2 first. Yeah, the knight's a little bit awkward here. I'm trying to justify it. There's some F4 idea. This move first. F4. I'm going to have bishop c5 at some point. Here it's checkmate in one. Oh, and if here I have rookie two. Checkmate. Okay. <laughs> that was a funny finish. I'll take it. Thank you, Tyler Jordan. Okay, top 50. 14 points. All right, let's play a Stafford Gambit. I had one Stafford earlier and it went really well, but here we have maybe a more symmetrical Italian. Already like the position. Bishop f5 and e4. But e4 can't be played though. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's not so simple. Take. Yeah, it's actually not so simple here. Uh, take knight g6. The queen's going to plant itself on e4. Maybe the rook will plant itself. So the knight wants to get to a square where it attacks e4, but it's very far away from that. Yeah, the knight's coming in. F3. Let's start with this. If I want to maneuver the knight to one of these squares. Maybe rook f5 to h5. Can probably keep ignoring, although let's take once and then swing over. That's a little bit annoying. 
play this. You have to be defensive. Uh, what to do? C6 is probably coming. C6, I have D5. I C5, I probably take and take. Rook F7, I'm wondering if I can take first. Probably. Yeah, there's a lot of lines where I sack exchange and have a monster knight. Wow. So white's doing the sacking. Maybe this move first. So rook b8 here. I prevent rook c1. This and this are still attacked, along with the c-pong. Along with the a-pong. That move I forgot about. So I guess I am sagging. So rook e3 is tricky, but I have rook c1, I think, or even queen b6. Let's go. Got the pawn checkmate. F2 checkmate. And the king helped with the attack too. A pawn storm along with the king storm. Along with the monster knight. Yeah, helped out. So that's three in a row. Two, three, four. These games are getting the heart beating. That's berserk. Oh, this opponent I drew earlier. I blundered the piece. Also came from a London opening. Okay. Um, Queen H3. Also E4 makes some sense. Oh, E4 just blunders a pawn. Oops. Okay, treating it as a gambit. Uh, yeah, e4 makes sense when the knight's on e2. Tempo short. Okay, so takes, 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 takes. It feels like there's comp here. The pin. The 
down a bit of time. Nature of berserking. Okay, so I won back the pawn. Uh, maybe win more pawns. Rook b6, knight c3. Pawn c3 coming. Good move. Oh no. Okay, I blundered a rook with rook a1. Um, that was very fortunate. Should be enough time. It's not good. I might lose this. I'm losing this. Wow. Uh, so the reason why I didn't take is because black has... Oh, black doesn't have the stalemate trick. If I take with rook, even then there's no stalemate trick. I was paranoid of stalemate tricks. Uh, what to do? Just slowed down there and then played some bad moves. Okay. Um, missed a chance to have a really nice streak. But it's a long tournament. Still in the first hour. Keep serene. Yeah, that's what I'll try to do. Lost to this opponent once before. Okay, QGD exchange. Yeah, with the double G pawns, the knight actually is nicely placed on G4. Uh, okay, let's take. The queen can maybe come in. Yeah, now there's some H file potential. You know, I have like a five to six move plan to checkmate. One, two, three, four, yeah, five moves away. It's pleasant, but it's not winning. to crack the position. I 
I think I'll go for the trade. Just to open the e-file. It does simplify a bit. Okay, now I'm trying to use the H file. I don't know why I'm putting my king there. Threatening queen e4 maybe. Yeah, I have the worst end, or worst side of this ending. I have to take. Rook H five. Okay, here. That's a fine move. Okay, that's a free rook. Okay, unexpected gift. I was getting outplayed there. The pawn diamond did survive, but the, yeah, white's position did not. All right, so trying to make another run. The barman variation. Still prep. Um, knight is supposed to return, I believe. Hitting a couple of pawns. Queen e2 is a move. And maybe king f8. Queen d2. So if I take, there's take on f7. I mean, let's have some fun. This could really backfire, though. Tres Anos. Happy Tres Anos. All right, so what's happening here? I'm attacking queen, rook's hanging. There's no discovered check to win the queen. That's why I couldn't take the knight. 
The queen check, I win the knight. There's knight check, and if I take, I lose my queen. So knight check, probably king has to move to dark square. This move. Oh, there's knight c8. I think the king is relatively safe here. I'm preventing black from casting both ways. And I want to play rook e8. Very aesthetic arrows. Rook e8 is hard to stop, too. Okay. Rook e3. Ah, king c2. So about this move. Trying this and this. A lot of fork potential. Okay. That was a fun game. Position got wild like very quickly from the opening. I played a somewhat risky line, but it paid off. Oh yeah, thank you, Leander Volvic, for 36 months. Trenta y seis meses. All right, let's play the usual stuff. Carlson in third. Wow, Contra Jocko crushing it. I usually don't play queen b3 in these lines, but seems like a move. Very similar to the, the Nepo Ding game that featured the London. I just want to play knight c5. And then probably eventually trade on c4 if I can. A very positional game. Okay, so I have the defended pass pawn, a nice asset. If I take and play queen c6, actually queen c6 right away looks nice. Pawn's a bit weak. Okay, E3's attacked. I mean, there's take, take, take. Can't quite take on b5 because queen e1. I play c6 here. Queen B7. Uh, 
not sure if that works. Just this first. I was very, very close to completely winning. We're gonna fade here, 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 there. Now C7. Queen E1, King H2. Okay. I may have been the mouse of it, but um, yeah, I was winning. That was a nice game. Very positional London. Got the, the better structure. Managed to convert. Thank you, not Scott. Uh, okay, I was debating whether to berserk, but can't physically berserk once the game begins. Hmm. Idea might be six. And tricky line. Four. It's a weird maneuver, keeping the pawn defended. I'm not repeating. <laughs> Just. <laughs> A black is burning time. Ah, uh, I have queen d5. I'll try it. Oh, that was a blunder. I guess take on f7. Maybe some compensation. Up a lot of time. Good move. Uh, I'm in trouble. D7, take, take. I think D7 might be my best chance. Really botch this.
Oh no, okay, let's have this. Happy 11 months. Also, trying to be happy. Oh, not happy. Uh, let that one slip. That was a great position from the opening. Under the piece. Almost made it work. I missed you too. Welcome back, Matt Man. Okay, playing Harsha. Top 50. Carlson in fourth. Yeah, I'm playing a Stafford repertoire. Maybe we'll transpose. Yeah, this is a good line against Stafford. I'm still trying to get something here. Not sure what I have for the pawn. Small edge on time. So e5 runs into knight d5. Maybe go for this idea. And this is basically the worst case scenario. White playing against the Stafford. It just plays uh, one of the best lines. But I have to work with what I have. So if takes, I, I skewer. Knight g3 doesn't work. B6. Maybe queen g5. Some a5 eventually. It does feel like there's some compensation now. E pawn's a target. Knight g3, rook e5, rook e8, b6. Positional compensation. All right, so if I take... Hmm. Rook e5 first. What's happening? So there's a line. Okay, take the queen. Can't really make it work, though. Bishop here. Keeping all the tension. Uh, good move.
burning too much time. So I'm down two pawns. I want to play this. Had to prevent rook f5. Coming back on the clock. Don't know what my plan is. I'm down two pawns, but look at this compensation. Also look at the time. Oh, what a game. That's how to win with the Stafford Gambit. When the opponent knew the refutation, too. Okay. So trying to rebuild a streak. 28 points. Top 50. I feel like my average heart rate this stream has been over 100. Try and calm down a little bit here. Oh, we had similar line earlier. I think. Oh, we had the crazy game earlier. Wait a minute. I have to play knight d5. I think a3 is acceptable, because here I move away, maybe now knight d5. d5 idea, never mind. e5, nah, let's play h4. I think my opponent just forgot about the pin. Still takes work. Just complete development. I could take on d6, but it just seemed a bit too risky. Mm. Forgot that G3 is hanging. Uh, 
I'm still trying to be really solid. So if I take whatever it takes, there's maybe five. And G6 is also hanging. Take her first. Knight C2. Attacking, attacking. Also pinning. Maybe winning. Thank you, Matman. Gifting too. Appreciate that. Yeah, this seems to be completely winning, up two pawns, winning more material. Uh, there's a fork. Okay. All right, trying to move up. It's two in a row. Hovering around 50th. So I've had two three game win streaks. Playing Rob. Rob's a very good strong luck, player. Eric. I asked Dispatch to have some ambulances on standby. Oh, for the good rest to know. The arena. Very good to know. Bishop G5. Might just do some trading. Thank you, Stubenmeister. Let's take that. Should play a6, probably. G6. Not the most comfortable position. Knight f5 is coming. Knight f5, queen e5. Oh, that's not good. Queen d4 check. Very strong play for my opponent. Try this. So now I am threatening to take. Okay, somehow I think that worked out. Holding on to extra piece. Someone getting merch. Garrett purchased do you even Rockcliffe Bro Muscle Bro. Tank Top for thirty dollars. Thank you, Garrett. Okay, F five. Oh no, my pawn. Queen F6. Being extra careful here. Yeah, this simplifies nicely. Almost blundered a knight. Uh, 
Okay. Let's not get too low on time. Okay. Top 40. I'm not berserking back. I, I need chances, so I'll, I'll accept the time odds. A6, let's play this anyway. Bishop. Bishop F4. And there's this, this. Interesting position. Wow. I take the night takes. Close things down. Thing is, my bishop is completely stuck. What to do? So I want to maneuver the knight to f4. The plan is this, 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 this. Queen c1 so tricky. And king d2. King e2. F4 opens a bishop. Okay, let's maybe lift the rook. I don't see how to make progress. We g4 eventually. Have this move? Tactics? More tactics. Okay. A crazy position, man. The bishop proved to be useful without moving. <laughs> Let's go. Top 30. Four in a row. It's the longest streak this tournament. Wow, tied with Portnick. Portnick is usually like is leading these events. Magnus having a rocky tournament, playing this opponent again. On a good win streak against this opponent. Is this a Stafford game? No, that wasn't the Stafford game. We might have this oh, we have this line, okay. <laughs> It was like one of the most basic traps. Bishop d4, h5. I'll throw in a check. Be queen g5. Bishop e5 idea. I mean, g3 is a target now. I prevent knight e3. I 
D4 might be coming. I have H4. So if D4, bishop G3 check. And probably bishop G3 anyway. This move, attacking both pawns. Yeah, now I take, and if takes uh, bishop c4. Okay, 19 moves, Stafford win. I'll take it. 24th, five in a row. So only three losses, right? Or four losses. We have Vienna, Queen two. Not sure if this is a line. Idea knight d4. I may have just plundered. It takes. Oh man. I could take first. I don't think this works though. Does it? Takes, takes, takes here. King e2. We don't go into that. A crazy position already. Take again. I think I have to take. I really want to play this move, so I might as well. Hmm. I see six. I'm down the pawn. This crazy position. Should be seven. D four is probably coming. I need to take. Um, a five, take, take, take. Let's try this first. I burned away all my time advantage. Still not a pawn. We're coming. I might win d5 as well.
Let's go. Okay. Got the job done there. That's six in a row. Still top 30. I think this is on Drake and Vladimirovich. Oh, I'm playing uh, Vasif Tara Bailey, former teammate of mine. Sorry, Vasif. I'm on a big win streak. I'm not berserking back. Let's see his London prep, this line. Queen b6. I think I can take. Here. I think the knight, knight's tied down to defending the F pawn. Okay, so I can take. I mean, B2 hangs. Let's do it. Oh. Missed a few things there. I have knight b3. Shout out to Vasif, by the way. He's also streaming. Uh, queen f3. You're just castling. Mm. Difficult position already. Hitting both pawns. Yeah, Bishop G4 was annoying. And G4, G4, H5, though. Wow. Wow. Ugh. That's not meat. Ugh, well played. Crazy heem. Okay. <laughs> there goes my streak. GG.
Man, I think it's like thunderstorming. Oh, uh, this is on Dragon, right? Yeah, this is on Dragon. Stafford Gambit against on Dragon? King's Gambit. Let's play the uh the Fogbear Counter Gambit. He's not even berserking me. <laughs> uh okay. And Draken's like very strong chess player. But we're going into like one of these lines. Bishop d2, e3. There's takes, takes, queen e2. Maybe a main line? I like that he's taking time here. Maybe manually berserking. Oh, he's also streaming too. All these Grandmaster streamers. Okay, let's take Queen here. Rook B1. Yeah, the reason for going for this, even though bishop e2 comes with tempo, I play queen d6. Man, there's some lightning outside. I don't think chat can hear it, but it's kind of loud. Or the thunder is loud. Oh, what to do? c5? Your rook e8's most flexible. It's an e3 idea, never mind. Play this move. Almost didn't see that was hanging. I take. If it takes, oh no, my lights are flickering. If the stream dies, uh, it's because the power probably has gone out. There were really bad storms last night in St. Louis. It was actually hailing last night. Large ice balls falling from the sky. You see, f no, not in C5. In this move? Um. Bishop b7. e3 is actually coming very soon. But do I want it? Probably. Happy bishop. a4. Oh, knight d4 is coming. So maybe this move. No. I don't know what to do. I have to move quickly. That was a bad decision. There, there. Uh, this end game's not good. At least hold on to the A pawn. Oh, he can take the A pawn though. Maybe some counterplay, like takes in here. Rook B2. The rook is hungry. Man. I kind of want to turn off the noise suppression filter. It's so loud outside. Okay, let's take. Still looks playable.
Ooh. Check there. Okay. Yeah, rookie three didn't work. Oh, uh, what to do? Ah, good game. That was a good fight. First time losing two in a row. Had chances until losing the piece in that game. Okay, it doesn't get easier though. Another Grandmaster. Who is this? Anonymous? I'm on the wrong type of streak. Bishop h6 was actually called for. Play this first. I may have already like plundered. It takes takes e5. I think I have queen b4. Oh, but I allowed that. What about e5 here? Doesn't really do much. g5 doesn't do much. Okay, have to play b3. Tilt is kind of showing. There's still potential for a fight. Although, yeah, it's not pretty. So I want to take and open the center as quickly as possible. E5. So what if e5? Problem is knight c3. Maybe, yeah. And if I take... Maybe taking gives me the best chances. <laughs> what about, um, mm, I don't know what to do. E5, take, take. Queen, D4, check there, there. Let's try this. So the calculation is here, takes, takes, Queen, D4, Rook, B8, here, Rook, B2, Bishop, C4, defending E2. Burned a lot of time there. I'm actually thankful that, like, there's no check. I'm controlling all these squares. This, this, this. So there's no force mate immediately. Thank you, Bitcoin boy. In crazy position. Wow. I don't have much time. 
Can I take? Could not understand e5. Because now I'm threatening to take here. And rook b8. And bishop c4, I think, saves me in this rook b2 line. Wow, Magnus in the lead. Let me stay focused, though. <laughs> Uh, time is low. Position's still crazy. What? Okay, just gotta consolidate. That's an amazing position. Bishop here. Yeah. No, it's not over. Tricky, tricky. Still a good position. Oops. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, so angry. Er. What to do? Ah, I fought so hard to like just be winning there. Got too low on time. Okay. I just want to play Magnus. So it's really the only goal of this tournament. It's been so long since we played on Leash House. Um, let's take in bishop e5. e3 is a move sometimes. Um, yeah, I'm giving the pawn because if takes, there's queen d4 check. Probably lose the pawn back still. Rook B one. I want to play G three before I castle. It's weakening though. E four. Oh. That move I completely forgot about. Yeah, this is... This is pretty bad. Okay, I'm going to be down a pawn. Ah, there's an 82. Ah. Yeah, the losing streak might continue. Nice move. I assume that works, but is there a chance it doesn't work? Knight c1. Take, take there. Let's just see if my opponent saw this through all the way. Oh, they did. 
Uh, I probably should have tried something else, but ended the pain quickly. All right. So that's four losses in a row. Try and, um, yeah, let's try and not lose five in a row. English opening. Opponent perplexed. So opponent knows uh, the line here. It's still a playable position. F4 is a type of move you only play if you've seen before. Um, so B4... This is one of the plans. B4 and then take and... Um, Bishop A6 ideas. Maybe I can play Knight E4. So if takes, 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 I have knight g5 hitting the queen and rook. c6 is hanging. A couple pawns hanging. Hmm. Queen d6. Knight b6, rook b8. And bishop d7. Maybe I can be tricky. So takes, takes, takes is um, this move. White's also being tricky. This move. Oops. Forgot that was hanging. Because earlier there were tactics, but yeah, the poison went away. All right, so what to do? Queen h4? Counterplay? I want to keep the bishop. Hmm. Okay, there's an idea of takes I take on e3. That's some counterplay. e4, wow. So, I don't know what to do. Nothing looks good. The knight's so monstrous. I just want to play bishop b5 and not have to deal with a4. In queen a4, there's bishop f1. d5 might be coming. I take a lot of work to not lose this. Mm. 
White's played this really well, though. Yeah, e6. What to do? Okay. Uh, what to do? Felt like I almost had chances there, but difficult position. So top 50. I had an epic winning streak sometime long, long ago. It is the nature of a long tournament, though. Win some and lose some. Coming back to reality. Okay, this player I played earlier and beat. So we'll have one of these again. Okay, so you see five. Take taking queen d2. I'm up a pawn, but not super simple. It's actually a very strong move. A3. A3, take, 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 and then C3. Ooh. How bad is this? Rook d6, king d2. So rook a2, rook b1. I think I'm barely holding on. Threatening knight c1 now. Yeah, the pain is hopefully only temporary. But yeah, maybe longer lasting. Or d7. I mean, bishop d3 is actually a big threat. f3. Or knight c1. Knight c1. Eventually b3.
very difficult position. I don't even know what to do here. Yeah, that was rough. I'm trying to um to not lose the rest of my games. All right, I'm still upgrading this tournament, and this is probably what I need. Yeah, at this point, let's not make any predictions. <laughs> I'm already very down. Um, C5, let's take... Did I play this opponent? Oh, that previous game. Okay, let's improve. Do this. Yeah, I got crushed that previous game. And I'm already, like, not doing well here. E5, bishop g3, maybe. Okay. Take. I just want a castle. King safety first. It's a great move. Uh, let's play this. Every move, it feels like I'm getting punched in the face. But maybe I'm still alive. Ninety three. Hey, it's Mary Chess. Appreciate the raid. Could use some energy now. I'm on a six game losing streak. This is a July title of arena. But this game, I definitely have some hope. I have six as a threat. Maybe even check like this. There, there. It doesn't work. Yeah, this move first. Okay. I think I'm going to win this. Although it's still very... Okay, no, it's not super tricky. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. So Magnus is in first. Wow. Berserk winning so many in a row. Danya trying to fight his way. All right, let's try and get back on a streak. A winning streak to be more clear. Staff or gamut time. We haven't had this line yet today, Bishop E2. So H3 and C3, Bishop E3 also playable. Um, play queen d6. Just making sure. I haven't had this line in a long time. 
So there's potential for two rooks against a queen. And it's actually a three result game. I think the engine will give like close to equal here. But white has to be very careful about the rooks coordinating and the king getting mated. Which maybe is about to happen, but maybe not. I take the pawn. It's raining so hard right now. Here, here. Hmm. Maybe this move. Because I want to play this and not lose this. This move. Queen f5 is coming. I think that's okay. Queen f5, b6. This move. Uh, here, here. I mean, the dream is to play this and this. Now the king has a pocket of air. Hmm. And this. Trying to coordinate. I want to play this and then this. Defend. Maybe he could have taken. I don't have rook c5. Of c5. Hmm. That was maybe a bad decision. Maybe a good decision. It was very tricky. If I can defend the pawn, but then I have this move. This is made in two. Or no, it's not made in two. A1's controlled. This move. Forgot A1 was defended. Oh, it's still tricky. Life goes on. The king finds safety. D7 here, here, here. Should be enough to win. Not sure, though. I'm feeling the fatigue of having played so many games. I could take, but I think taking is fine. We might see under promotion tonight. Yeah, like here and then promote tonight. <laughs> uh, but this is a big threat.
I think my opponent was trying to figure out how to disable auto queen. <laughs> Cause this is not the move that you you spend all your time to play. Um not that it would have mattered. If knight if promotes a knight, I would just gotta check. And there were still threats. Okay, that was a cool game. So, uh, back on a win streak, 50 tournament points. Magnus has 131. JB2 mix. Who is this? Name sounds familiar. Oh, this is uh, Bonawa. Okay, good player. But having internet issues. Um, D5 is the main move. I'll play E3. Played a similar line earlier. Yeah, having a lot of issues. There is a lot of compensation, but up until a point. Um, Queenie two, probably defending the bishop and B six expected. I would like to play E four, but there's this forking idea. So maybe D five first and we get a Benoni structure. F5 is, is uh, pretty thematic. F5 maybe is still E4. But then F4. Ooh. And these knights are nice. They could be a target too. And can I take on d6 and win the rook? Let me just do it. Objectively, maybe this was the wrong decision, but it's interesting. Very imbalanced now. I have a lot of pawns, three pawns. And then a four, a four. F4, F5? Hmm. Alright, let's play this first. I have 4, Queen, F3. I want to eventually play this and this. E6. 
c4 e5. Monster pawns. Tricky move. Very tricky. Wondered. Rook was hanging for a moment there. Ah, I thought I was going to flag. I didn't think I was going to get mated. Ah. Good game. That was a good fight. That was a great position. Just couldn't convert. Okay. Hovering around number 50. 40 minutes left. I'm still operating. I've gained about 30 points. Started the tournament around 2600. Playing Vlad G. Uh, let's play the slide. So there's a line G6 and then E4 is a fun one. I think E5 here. Yeah, knight takes E4 is supposed to be more critical. Queen E2. I mean, this looks really fun. Wow. Trying to comprehend everything here. So, and I could play queen e2, we trade bishop g7, maybe b5. There's also bishop e2, f3, let's keep queens on the board. There's knight a5. Bishop f3 doesn't work. So knight a5. Queen b6 could lead to some repeating.
Yeah, it's close to equal. This is going to be a close fight. Here. On is kind of hanging. Thirty two Miss Yarn less than three. Happy thirty two. F4 has slowed, uh, slowed my opponent down a little bit. It's, it's very conflicting which pawn to take on passant with. Okay. Thank you, Zippy. Happy 32. Miss you too. Okay, top 50. Playing Ganicus. Staffer Gambit time? No Staffer Gambit. Thank you, Blueprints. This is a fun line. Um, I could take... I could take him Bishop E7. Wow, bishop f5. Probably I just do my own thing. Castle. Wow. Grandmaster level play. D4. I can't defend the pawn. Maybe queen e8 and rook d8? F6. It's actually a really annoying position. Let's play this. At least have some blockade. F6 sometime soon. Only 
JT left till two years, let's go. Thank you for the great work you do. Oh, thank you, Rocker Hotter. That name sounds... Sounds Icelandic or Scandinavian. I appreciate the words. In the smooth. Some interesting compensation here. That doesn't work. Let's play B5. And this and then F6. I should be winning the pawn. And the resulting position is actually quite pleasant. Although, C7 hangs, play C6. Take, 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 play this. Tricky, very tricky. There we go. Okay. Final position was winning too. I was close though. Really close. Okay. Trying to get a longer streak. Okay, it's um, lost to this player before. We had that really crazy hard fought game. Staffer Gambit time. Yeah, this is Joel Bonawa. His name is on his account. I know he's a, I think he's a pretty active chess coach, so he probably teaches his students how to refute the staffer. But we'll see how prepped he is. Playing the magical line. Haven't had this position today. We have had a decent number of Staffords. Also had a pretty good score with the Stafford today. A lot of players walking into early tricks. And I wonder if we've gone into this line before. Like, we've played over 20 times. Hey, it's Vampire Chicken. Yeah, this is very, very magical. Shout out to Vampire Chicken, who's uh, the godfather of this line. Or the god chicken. All right, so I can take... Here, oh no, rook g1 and then queen h4. There's a line where I sack two pieces. I already sacked one piece, so yeah, after takes. King d2, okay. Can take here. 
And this already looks pretty good for black. Compensation. Rookie one, I probably just castle. Oh, well, here I can take the bishop with tempo. Guess he wants queen e1, so maybe I take with rook. But then I have to calculate the line where I sack, but then we just trade bishops. Yeah, this looks very nice. And this move. Idea of takes and bishop g5. Hey, it's my go, 5,000. Appreciate the gifted subs. Yeah, this is just a really nice position, so let me try not to screw it up. G2. Maybe F5. C5. So many options. I like G2, though. Check. Hmm. Here they want to take... Yeah, this move. This actually looks pretty straightforward. Bishop's pinned to the queen. Rook's defended, pawn's defended. Rook e1 is off limits. And so is knight f1. Knight f1 played, so I can take. Oh yes, my queen. I'll be up a bishop in the end. Um, take. He's a fighter, though. But, yeah, it's, it's stabilizing. Yeah, the rooks eventually want to coordinate. Take on c3. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's a move. Nice move. Okay, it's still winning, I think. Maybe. Probably. He was super resourceful there, though. Okay. I could have built the bridge, but what to do? All right, that was a nice Stafford game. Had, um... I mean, just had, like, a nice opening prep. And at some point, White got in trouble. I still haven't played Magnus or Rebecca Harris. All right, let's play one of these.
Yeah, G6 is a huge weakness. I probably just abandon the rook. Go for queen h5. Not mating. And there's this move. Check there, there. Not seeing mates. Wait a minute. There, there, there. Oh, now I see mates. So king here, it's mate. King here, it's check. Here, check. Here, check. Here, g3 checkmates. And this one's a queen. They're probably still mating soon. Okay, it was a fun game. Thank you, trying to learn. Happy 49. So trying to finish strong, top 20? Or no, top um, top 40. <laughs> Less than 20 minutes left. Okay, so we have maybe another Stafford Gambit. Who is this? Anonymous GM. Bishop E3. Let's go. Let's go. So King D2, there's this funny trap. This is the best move. Yeah, objectively, black is worse here. Still threatening to take. This I don't think is so bad. Um, take on f1. So I won back the pawn. Stable position. King e7. I don't know what to do. C5. Yeah, should I take the knight? Trying to be safe. There's this idea. Or D5, C6. Again, it's really up to my opponent to try and win this. I'm just going to hold my ground. G6. King here first. If we trade rooks, I get the outside passer. Should be winning. I mean, g5 is a move. Kind of like this move. It's kind of passive, though. Ugh. What about g5? No, it doesn't work. C6. So I want to mobilize a rook over defending the pawn. F takes. Play this first. Um. Maybe now G5. 
Oh, King's ready to come in. Yeah, I'm kind of panicking. It's probably losing. Mm. Let's just keep waiting. Hmm. B5 take. There's nothing to do here. Yeah, well played. Okay. Uh, got ground down there. That was rough. Maybe it was slightly worse than the rook ending, and then I gradually went downhill. Thank you, Chess King Kong. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, there has been a lot of, like, exclusive YouTube content. I think a lot of my recent videos were videos that were not previously streamed on Twitch. Including the most recent one. Playing Alexandra Botez in Iceland on national TV. Um, let's play, it's a little bit weird of a setup. Maybe F5. Um, this... I like the position. Looks very solid. Some attacking potential. F4. Just to open the bishop. H3, I probably just move back. I'm not sure what the plan is. Right here. Take 
Just moving too slowly. Wait, what? Oh, wow. Take, take. I want to play 94. Just plunder that. Fatigue is setting in. Ninety four. Still some tricks, maybe. Ah, well played. Mm. Okay. All right, let's try and finish strong. No more losing for the rest of the tournament, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> 63 tournament points, playing Pavel Mart. I haven't played enough E4 today, so mixing it up. Thank you, Urban Pancake. Nine months. When Happy nine. Be babies? Um, someday, maybe. Let's play, what is this, D5? This okay, so I've induced the double pawns. And now it's time to play in the style of a Grand Prix. e5 first and then castle so eventually I want to go for f5 some knight c6 ideas. Seems like a pleasant position. Some g4 idea. Wow. I still probably want to go for this. Do I have to worry about G5? 
G5, King, G3, take, take. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the knight can come to e4. The hope is that I just play king e2, and the king should be safe, and then f5 eventually. Okay, here... I guess I can't really take... Magna's just crushing it, wow. Yeah, this will be one of the last games. Not the last, though. Queen e3. Can also consider taking now. Wait, taking is probably really bad. Yeah, this move. Holding on for dear life. A very clunky setup. Yeah, if I take there is uh, this check. And now if I take check, I think it's okay. That was probably a bad decision. Okay, wow. Oh no, my queen, good try. I can't, wait, can I take that? No, I can't. Very good try. Okay, oh yes, my queen trade. Oh, that was the final game. <laughs> oh, that was the final game. Uh, let me just show the moment in that game. It was very clever. I almost fell for it, too. Bishop d8. I saw the idea, like, a few moves prior. Like, once I played king g3, I realized if the bishop comes to h4, there's some mating potential. So, yeah, so I offered the queen trade, opponent played here, which just looks like a queen blunder, but if I take the queen, then check, and the bishops work really well together, I have to take the pawn, and then 
Bishop e1 checkmate. Such a savage mate. Congratulations to Magnus. Wow, winning a title arena. It's been a long time since Magnus played the title arena. Double Twitch it was working a lot. Thanks to everyone who subbed and resubbed. Eric is the king. Magnus is uh, the bigger king. <laughs> 185 points. I finished with 65 points. Magnus like almost tripled my score. I played 36 games total. My performance rating was over 2700. I gained about what 40 points? 43 points. So if this goes on YouTube in the future, hello to YouTube. Let me know in the comments your favorite game. I'll probably timestamp all the games, so check them out and stay tuned for more content.